This is Twit. Um, a lot of my apps recently have been very kind of meaty, data driven or productivity or, you know, or or like last week was the network speed kind of dry, kind of boring. I wanted to mix it up and have a little fun. Um, so I brought a game to the arena this week. Uh, we've talked a lot about games and Jason, I think you and I bonded on the fact that the majority of my gaming love comes from the games of the early to mid 1990s. Um, one of those games, and uh, Victor, I have the Wikipedia page of one of my all-time favorite games ever, um, a game called Lemmings, uh, which we can we can show if we want to click that link. And we can, for the, you youngins in the audience, you millennials might not remember Lemmings, but Lemmings was a game that debuted on the Amiga platform and then was ported to the PC and things like that. And basically, it was all these little guys that walked and did whatever you told them to do, and the goal was to get them from where they got dropped until where they ended. There we um, go. Yes. There we go. So there you go. Uh, so, I love uh, that game. Yeah. So Lemmings was great. Basically, the idea was that's a very small graphic, but the idea was these little these little blue guys just walked and they kept on walking. And you could make one of them a digger. You can make one yeah. of them a bomb. You can make one of them stop them. And the idea was to get them from point A to point B. Um, it really kind of you know this is 1991. It really drove a lot of the uh, the kind of character movement and stuff like that. Like it inspired World of War, inspired some of the Warcraft developers and things like that. And I would even say that this kind of game inspired Angry Birds and a lot of the mobile games that we learned. So I've been looking for Lemmings for years or a replacement of Lemmings. Um, I think I finally found it. Some folks have ported Lemmings in the past and that never has really worked very well and it's kind of buggy. But I found this game called Sticklings, which clearly is steeped in the lore of Lemmings and that it's the same idea and that you've got these little stick figure guys and they get dropped out of a box. Uh, there we go. This, this is the little demo. The idea is you gotta, you gotta. They get dropped out of a cardboard box, and then you've gotta walk them into this little kind of teleporter pit at the end of it. So in this particular case, it's real easy. There's nothing. I'm you gonna win. Do. They just, they just drop in the hole exactly. Oh, I've and got this see, one. You can see in the box how many stick figures will come out of it, and then also in the little hole, you can see what, um, how many, how many more you need to get. Um, it gets a little harder as the levels progress, and then you get different kind of tools that can be used to move them around, different abilities. So in this particular case, they're going to drop out of the they're going to drop out of the cardboard box and start walking to the right. And what you need to do is you need to turn one of the stick figures into a blocker. And so when they walk to the right, they hit him and bounce to the left, and then they end up in the hole, and then you move on to the next level. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's good. It's intuitive. It's a very similar interface to the original Lemmings. Um, some of the puzzles are really difficult as you move. I, I think I got up to level nine. I, like I, I sailed through like the first five levels because they're very introductory in this, in like like in this uh, demo that Jason's showing. Um, but when you get around to level nine, then they get pretty difficult. Um, you have. Uh, sticklings that can jump. You can have ones that run fast. You have ones that build a staircase. You have ones that uh, count down uh, and blow up after five seconds. Um, and so it gets fun and, and not only gets creative is that there's not just one way to solve the puzzle. Usually there's one path to solve the puzzle. Like in this case, you need to blow one up to blow a hole in the top level and then they'll drop down to the bottom level. But there are different ways that you can do that. There, you know, the, the explosion can happen in a different spot. Maybe you need a blocker somewhere else. Maybe you want to use a staircase in another way. Um, so it's pretty neat in that it's not the, it's like some of these, ga a lot of these mobile games, there's just one way to win. And I like the games that allow you to be a little creative and how and how you're able to win. So there you go. It's called Sticklings. A um, lot of fun. Um, I dig it. I've been having fun with it on the subway. So there you go. It's free uh. in the Google Play Store. So. Uh, I apparently did that wrong, or maybe not. No, you're doing. You're, you're all right. You're gonna make it. Oh, okay. There you ah, go. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go. You you built you built you built a staircase, and they they walk up the staircase and drop off right into the hole. Good job. Nice. So. I figured that yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, right on. Excellent. So sticklings, free in the Google Play Store. Play the game I've been playing. Um, there you go. Excellent. Sticklings. That's it.